God's prophetic word for you today. That this is a day for your healing, for your deliverance. This is a new season that God wants to begin to do something new in your life. And it starts with you experiencing his healing power, deliverance from the spirit of anger. God wants to bring healing and deliverance in the area that you have experienced abandonment, rejection. You have experienced uh, some sort of abuse in your life. God said this is a new season. This is a new beginning that God wants to pour out into your life. He wants to begin that healing power so that you can experience all the peace that God has for you. So today we will go through some steps on how you can begin to experience that new season of your life. Being free from the spirit of anger. Being free from that spirit of abandonment. Being free from the spirit of rejection. So step number one for your healing and for your deliverance. It says, you must be willing to humble yourself and surrender your life completely to the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you don't know Christ as your Lord and as your Savior, this is the moment, this is the time for you to surrender and accept Jesus Christ. It's as simple as saying the word and believing it in your heart. Lord Jesus, I believe that you died for my sins and I invite you into my heart. Be my Lord and be my Savior. Forgive me of my sins. The next step, let go of anger through repentance. Forgive those who have deeply wounded you. A good exercise that I would recommend for you to do or first, uh, the first one that I would recommend, maybe if you don't have anyone else to uh, go through this um, exercise with you, I would recommend you getting a plain sheet of paper, writing down those names of those people that you feel have wounded and hurt you and ask holy spirit to bring to your mind those people that you really need to specifically um, forgive and write down those incidents that you are still holding in your heart and in your soul against those individuals and re repent and so um the next alternative uh, the Bible says, confess your faults to one another. So if you have someone that you can confide in and have full uh, confidence in, uh, confide uh, to someone else. Those individuals that you're holding things against, confessing uh, through repentance, God will grant you great healing, great deliverance when you do this. Step number three, renounce anger, meaning to not only repent, but turn completely away from choosing to react to anger or hostility. So a lot of times we think, oh, I, I will repent. But then in the back, in the depths of our heart, we are still not really renouncing and turning away from old behaviors. So we want to renounce the spirit of anger let the spirit of anger know no longer will i entertain you no longer will you be a part of my life i renounce you i command you to go from my life in the name of jesus so command number four command now this is when i say command this is the time that you take authority over the spirit of the evil one that's influence you, influencing you at the moment. For example, if you feel the anger just uh, surging and raging up in your heart and in your soul, this is the moment to, to get quiet, think before you speak, and you want to invite Holy Spirit in to help you take control of the spirit of anger and this is an example of how you can take control of the spirit of anger in the name of jesus i bind the spirit of anger and it will not rule or dominate my emotions i command the spirit of anger to go in the name of jesus i command it to go to the pit of hell in the name of jesus and step number five you want to declare I declare I have a sound mind and I will not surrender my will to rage and anger. So when you make your declaration, you're letting 
the, the enemy know that you have a sound mind. You will not yield your heart, your emotions, your will to the spirit of anger because you're declaring that you belong to the Lord Jesus Christ and you will act in such a manner that pleases the Lord Jesus Christ. And so the scriptures also encourages us to take captive our thoughts and bring them into obedience to the Lord. So this is where we can put it into action, taking captive our thoughts and bring our thoughts into obedience to the Lord. Step number six, walk by faith and stay in a positive, positive attitude by reading the word of God and reverence and reference to love, loving others, loving God. So we want to stay in a reverent attitude at attitude before the Lord and before others. So make sure you stay in the word of God, read the word of God, meditate upon the word. And so be blessed. I will do a follow up video on praying against the spirit of anger. So I will actually do the prayers for you. So be blessed. Make sure you share the video. Um, subscribe if you have not already subscribed. Uh, like the video. Make comments. And I will see you, uh, be talking with you on my next video. Be blessed and have a great day.